Hi, I'm Will from Xeneering, and today I'm going to show you how to install your Xeneering Downshift Blip Module on your S550 GT350. Alright guys, so in your kit you're going to get an install guide, a module, the inline clutch and ground connector, your plug and play OEM pedal harness, and a gold plate USB for programming. We're gonna go ahead and take all these things over to the passenger side of the vehicle where the glove box is. At the glove box, we're gonna go ahead and feed our inline clutch and ground harness through the back side of the glove box. that through you can go ahead and lay the rest of the harness in there the brown brake wire and the power wire and get your pedal harness through there as well once you give yourself enough slack lay everything else inside the glove box Feed all these wires through to the other side where the pedals are. Once you get it started, you can go ahead and move over to the driver's side and reach back over to the passenger side and feed the wires the rest of the way through. Once you get one harness through, it'll act as a pathway for the other harness. Careful, some of the metal is pretty sharp under there, so you may get some dings or scratches on your hands there. Now starting with the plug and play pedal harness, let's get your OEM harness off and plug the male end of your harness into the vehicle harness. Make sure that secures all the way down with a click and the red tab is pushed down to lock it all in. You now take the female end of your pedal harness and plug it into the actual pedal. Again, making sure it clicks all the way down and using the red clip to secure it. Now we're looking at all our pedals here. You see the top left, your beautiful pedal harness already set up, pushed away, away from moving parts. And to the left here, we have your brake pedal we're not gonna tap anything here. We're actually gonna tap on the BCM and the passenger side of the vehicle. Then we also have our clutch pedal. The clutch pedal has two switches, has a starter switch that's at the bottom of the clutch press. Uh, we're gonna go for the clutch switch that's at the top of the clutch press. This is the actual harness that comes in your kit. It's a four pin connector. And we're getting the clutch signal and the ground off of that. So reach around, if you pause for a moment, you'll actually see right here, that is a switch that we do not want. That's the starter switch. We need to go up and around to the upper switch that engages at the beginning of the clutch press. It gives us the best timing for a blip. This is a female end that we just pulled out, which we will go ahead and plug our male end into. And all this is up and over to the top of the clutch. It's going to be a bit hard if you have larger hands, but no worries there. It's still doable. You get the other end of the harness plugged in. Then go ahead and lay those wires away from anything moving now back on the passenger side, we're gonna remove all the, the trim panels here. Everything pops out, no screws necessary. An actual kick panel to the right that's covering the BCM, you're gonna to wanna to pull it out in a J fashion. So out and then up. 
that's the actual BCM. There can be several bundles of wire, but specifically we're going for BCM connector C2280A. And that's gonna be this top section of wire here. We're gonna be tapping using posi taps. Posi taps come in three sections. You got a bottom section, a middle section with actual metal contact, and a top section. Go ahead and strip your wire. Slide the posi tap over. This is some 22 gauge TEF cell, pretty tough stuff. So it might be a little bit harder, but that just means it's definitely in there. And loop that around the middle contact of the middle section. Thread that on. These taps are super robust. For the sake of example, just tap the same wire. And just feed the wire through the split end of the lower piece, screw it on. Super quick, super simple, super low profile and a good connection at that. So again, there's two wires coming out of the box. It's a break that's brown, that's going to a violet white, and an orange that's switch power, and that's going to a blue gray. Screw that on. We're actually running this to a custom panel switch to the right of the steering wheel there. That's what the customer wanted. It actually came out pretty nice. Tap the brake. I already have the bottom section on the wire there. Screw that on. Sometimes it's helpful to get another hand in there and kind of hold the bottom section. We'll tuck all these wires up away from anybody's feet so it's nice and safe for a passenger to hang out in the car with you. And we can plug the actual module itself in. And everything should shut um, inside the glove box, pretty nice. With ignition on and the switch on, you'll see a red light on the unit itself. And anytime you engage a blip, you'll see a blue light come on. Now I can switch box on, start the vehicle. I can gauge blips in two different ways. I can do brake in, clutch in, or I can do clutch in, brake in. Anytime you engage and disengage the clutch, it starts a new blip event. And if you want to change any of the parameters, you can use our Windows PC app with a supplied USB cable. On our Windows app, you can change things like blip percentage, duration in milliseconds, your clutch delay. If a laptop is too much, you can use an Android device and a serial communication app from the Play Store. And that's how you install your x downshift blip module. Go ahead and follow us on Instagram at xsneering and give us a subscribe so you can't miss any other content like this. Also, leave a comment or shoot us an email at xsneering at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.